started sculpting at a very tender age. Uh, I'm from a popular family of sculpting uh, where artists like Brighton Sango, Queen Sango, Cardinal Sango come from. My art style is abstract. Uh, I'm still further, I'm still going further improving my art style. Is a uh, sculpture appreciated locally? Yeah, my sculptures are really appreciated locally. Like a uh, two weeks ago, I get a tender of portraits. I'm making a sculpture which for portraits, which means that some of my sculptures are also appreciated locally. But most of my uh, market is international. And uh, is um, the market been that? Uh supportive like some artists are saying that uh, there's been like a reduction of international buyers yeah for sure uh, since most of our buyers are tourists as you know that uh, the situation in Zimbabwe is not attracting the tourists so the decline of the number of tourists which are visiting Zimbabwe is also affecting us that's why our business is a little bit down this time what do you think needs to be done yeah, what, is, what we must do is the uh, Minister of Tourism must work very, very, very hard to advertise Zimbabwe, to attract tourists, so that uh, most of the tourist business will be will improve. Sculpting is very, 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 very important, especially for the Zimbabweans. Uh, I'm really surprised that uh, the people, especially the Minister of sports and culture they are not in, encouraging or educating the young Zimbabweans especially the students about the importance of the art even if you see on our flag there is a Zimbabwe bed even in our money there is a Zimbabwe bed that Zimbabwe bed is a sculpture you know and if you to talk with the Minister of Art what I mean what would you tell her I have to tell them that they must introduce this sculpting uh, in schools as a subject so that young people they must learn their culture in school to yourself did you have any formal art education or yeah i i did uh, several workshops locally and abroad i did exhibition locally and abroad and i did quite number of the the, 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 the workshops here like the BAT, I, uh, I also did a workshop with BAT at the National Art Gallery. And just out of interest, uh, what kind of a person was uh, Brighton, Brighton Sango? Oh, Brighton Sango, the late Brighton Sango is very, very, very famous artist, not only in Zimbabwe but in the world. He is one of the artists who uplifted the uh, Shona art internationally. Even up to now, his sculptures are gaining value. They are really expensive. Uh, a person who owns Brighton's sculpture, he, he earns value on his sculpture. Because quite a number of the Gararis, they are looking for Brighton sculptures, but they no more to found. And as a family, are you benefiting from his legacy? Yeah. Uh, for his sculptures, we are not benefiting because he, was, he sold those sculptures to the gallerist and the private buyers but for us the benefit we are having is uh, since we are the brothers of Brighton Sango our art is adding value quite a number of the buyers from all over the world they are appreciating our art because we are, the, we are from the fam famous family in sculpting field and what are some of you uh, where do you get your inspiration from oh my inspiration I get it from the stone uh, the type of stone, the type of method I use to create, to make my sculpture is talking to the stone. From the shape of the stone, it is where I get the inspiration. And what are some of the stones that you like working on, like the type of stones? Mm, I don't have a actual a best stone for me. I prefer to work on all the sculpt, on, on, on all the stones, but hard stones, not soft stones. And some of the themes in your work? Do you have any themes like in your work? Yes, for the moment I'm working on this sculpture. Uh, 
as you see, these are two things. They are looking like a wing. I call them frying together. This is looking like a wing and this part is looking like a wing and this is looking like a leg and this is looking like a leg. Okay.